Do you often feel tongue-tied when you meet new people? Sometimes even at a networking event where you are supposed to be building connections. It's hard to build a connection with people if you don't actually talk to them. If that's something you'd like help with, keep watching this video. my channel if you're new here my name is linda mary i come from nairobi kenya on this channel we tackle everything to do with self-development and today we are going to talk about the easiest ways to start a conversation with anyone so i'm going to start with the obvious ones before i get on to some that maybe you have not had before i'm going to talk about the weather okay the weather is a nice way to start a conversation but it doesn't make such an impact if you tell someone it's sunny today. I mean, they can see it, it is like it is too obvious. You can say things like, I'm so glad it's sunny today. It's been cloudy for the past few days. And this person will agree with you. They're like, yeah, I also noticed. I'm very, very happy about that. You can also say things like, this weather makes me feel like I was on a beach somewhere. And the other person can be like, yeah, I also feel the same. It has been so chilly of late. I'm so happy that it is sunny today. You know, there's, there's a way you can talk about the weather without making it so boring. The second way you can start a conversation is by introducing yourself. If I walk up to someone and I tell them, hi, I'm Linda, do you think they'll just keep quiet and look at me? They'll also introduce themselves and they're like, hi, I'm so-and-so. And then you get the conversation flowing, okay? So just introduce, if you, if you don't know what to do, just introduce yourself. You can't forget your name, so this is an easy one. The third way you can start a conversation with someone is by giving them compliments. And when doing this, please avoid being sexual or overly sexual you can say things like you smell nice like what cologne is that what perfume is that or things like i like your smile you have such a beautiful smile don't start telling people how sexy they are and these are strangers they have never seen you their entire life don't do it the fourth way to start a conversation with someone is by asking them what they do this is something you can use if you are at a networking event because everyone is there to build business connections and partnerships and get clients and so on but not like um at a party i don't think that is the first thing you should ask someone if you meet them at a party but at a networking event you can be you can ask them and you can do it in a way that is not offensive or nosy you can say something like what industry are you in and they'll be happy to tell you. The venue is a great conversation starter. You can say something like, wow, this hotel has a beautiful view, or this restaurant has a beautiful design, and the other person will agree with you, also point out something that they noted. You can even say that, ah, I, I admire the conference facilities of this particular venue, and, the, and they can be like, yeah, I even noticed like the podium has this and this, and you know, it is just a way to just break the ice and have a conversation. To engage someone further, when you say something like, this hotel has a beautiful view, you can ask them a question such as, have you been here before? You see? Even when talking about the events, you're like, wow, this event, uh, this is such a nice event. Have you attended so many of these? Or oh, is this, this is my first time. And you can find a way to talk about the particular event that you are attending. One of the easiest ways to start a conversation with someone is, when talking about food, especially let's say you are, you are eating, you are lining up to take your food, you are going for anything, let's say you are surrounded by food, you've already been served, you are eating, you can be like, wow, this fish fillet is delicious, have you tasted it? Or when you're waiting for your food, you can be like, yeah, I heard this hotel has amazing chicken wings. Have you been here before? Have you tested them? Or you can say something like, ah, I really want to test that dish, but I don't know what it is. Are you familiar with it? Or you can say something like, oh, wow, there are so many tested dishes there. I'm even spoiled for choice. Like, you know, something that will prompt someone else to also feel like they want to contribute. And people like talking about food, so... <laughs> If you are at a networking event, you can also talk about the speakers. You can say something like, you can ask your neighbor like, who is your favorite speaker? 
or when someone else is about to take the stage you can be like wow i've heard so many things about this particular person i can't wait to hear their speech or you can even say something like i can relate with the, what this speaker has just said you know and it will prompt the other person to also say something the last uh, thing you can do to start a conversation with someone is to ask for a favor and please don't go crazy with this don't go start asking people to sponsor your events and you just met they don't even know your name you can just say something like um i forgot to carry my pen could you help me with yours okay could you please pass me the salt or the napkin or do you happen to know where the washrooms are you know something small that can prompt someone you know someone will not just give you a one answer like yeah the washrooms are you go like this and this and they're very nice and they're clean something okay and guys you need to remember that these are conversation starters so keep them light keep them fun it's like going on a first date you can't start talking about heavy topics or just or attacking someone so keep it light and also when doing this remember that they are paving way for you to start a conversation so don't just go on and on let's say you've talked about the weather and how happy you are that it is sunny you can say because uh for example like on tuesday or last week on tuesday uh, at 11 a.m it was raining and at 2 p.m it was um cloudy and at 4 p.m no it is a conversation it is just breaking the ice so that you can start talking about some something else let's say you ask someone like uh, what do you do uh, what industry are you in and they tell me you know what i'm in the hospitality industry you'll be like wow that sounds like fun and they're like yeah it is now you get to interact with so many people you get to travel you see it has started a conversation so remember that guys the next time you find yourself in a group of new people you cannot fail to get something to talk about just pick one thing talk about it and get the conversation rolling make new connections talking can help you get through those that no man wouldn't have gotten through so don't be shy as i said yesterday guys watch out for another video tomorrow and on thursday and on friday okay until next time beautiful people subscribe to this channel and be good to yourself bye <laughs>